What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again back with another video. Today we have a review on the Jordan 17 Chicago, aka the Chicago Bulls. Right now, at this moment, I have a brand new mic set up that I'm trying out. Just something different. I'm shooting in 4K right now, so you can also turn to 4K if your monitor can handle it. But we're shooting with some new audio equipment and also my 4K camera, which I'll probably be doing more and more often to the point where everything will be 4K in the near future. But today, um, you know, if you watch my vlogging video picking these up, if you haven't already, go check it out. You know, I struck out on the 12s, but Developed Height was able to get me a pair of pre-ordered that I caught. You can go check them out as well. They'll link them down below. Use the code 2 wild get 10% off. But um, I went ahead and got my hands on these. I was able to get them for, you know, below retail. I'll leave it at that. There's a lot of these going on sale. They might still, they might not be on sale anymore. I know they were going on sale at Shoe Palace for Memorial Day weekend and whatnot. They retail at 250 The price is kind of whoa i understand like 250 for these 17s and another thing that kind of hurts me about these 17s are these are the 17 pluses these are not the original 17s that we're all used to it has the mouth guard on it or the guard um that i love the most but i actually like the background history to this whole shoe and correct me if i am wrong because i've been told by my friends and as well somebody in the comment section said it so i had to ask did these release before because I did not know these actually released. Somebody said I liked them when they released with something. I don't know what they were talking about. And then my friend said that they released with an all black. Maybe he's wrong or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know who's wrong. I don't remember these releasing. But I remember that the story behind this shoe is, you know, when Jordan played with the Wizards, he was wearing the 17s at that time. The last shoe was the 18 he wore. But he wore this 17 and scored his 30,000 uh, point against the Chicago Bulls. So he scored his 30,000th uh, 30, point against his own original team. So they came with a 17 colorway with the Bulls going on. Overall, the quality is very good. The leather is good on here. 17s tend to bend and they increase pretty easily because of that. This toe box, the way it's designed, has a really square toe box. Um, black and red, very simple colorway. You got the lace lock right here. Very different than original 17s, like the ones I have. These should have came with a suitcase, man. If you're going to charge us 250 Give us the suitcase, charges another 50 and everybody's happy. The, the original 17s came with the suitcase for $300 and uh, kind of crazy, but now we're paying $250 and, you know, that 50 bucks, you could have got a suitcase or something. I don't know. You know, let me know what you guys think about these, though, in the comments section. I would love to hear it. You have that crocodile leather going on right here on the back upper. It's a very nice leather. I cannot lie. This leather quality is very dope on the back. And it's like in a red, very, very dark, like blood almost color red. And then on the back, you have the Jordan. I still haven't taken the sticker off. I'll probably never take it off until I have to. But that is an also in red. You can't really see the sticker because it's like transparent. I know with the original 17s, they came with like a blue strip inst instead. But now that he's got his clear one, which is, you know, cool. Um, the bottom, you know what I'm saying, you got that golf course. That's where it came from. You know, Jordan was loving golf at the time, so he designed his soul kind of like a golf course, like with the holes and everything, like in all the sand dunes, whatever you call them. Uh, very, very dope concept behind the soles of the 17. Um, you got, like I said, leather, all black leather upper. The laces are pretty dope. I like to just lace them just like this, loosey goosey with that, you know, pull. They um they come laced up with the laces behind them. You pull them out and just, and just you know, stretch it out. Loosey goosey. These shoes fit great on feet with like you know just the tongue tucked in. I actually didn't wear these with any joggers, but they look dope with joggers as well. Um, but overall, solid shoe. I'll leave a link in the description where you can cop these from Nike. They actually released at Nike the day before yesterday, but they're starting to release like on other sites now. And I don't even think that Nike.com released them. So it's kind of a weird confusion going on. If you go check out the vlog, you'll see like. They didn't even know they were releasing them at Nike. Nike was like, no, we don't, we're not selling those today. Like, it was weird. Everything was very weird. This release was a weird release. Slap on release. Everybody's on the flu game. So, you know, I understand. But uh, very dope shoe in all in all, all in all, in my opinion. And I really like, you know, having this 17 to my collection. Uh, these and the coppers. Some people love the coppers more. And I understand. I love the coppers as well. But uh, I just said, let me get a 17 in the collection to end off this month. And uh, begin all the, you know, other stuff we got going on. But, uh. Man, let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this on foot, man. Let's go.
Alright guys, thanks for tuning in once again. I hope you guys enjoyed the review on the Jordan 17 Chicago Bulls, aka Bulls, or aka Chicago. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think um, about them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, thank you guys for all the love and support. And uh, I'm going to go grab me some food, man. I'm going to give me some Mexican or something. I don't know. And uh, I got a weekly sticky rotation dropping later on the day. So let me know what you guys think about the audio, audio quality and all these other things. And I'll see you guys on the next video. It's your boy Tommy B2Wild. I'm checking in. Now I'm about to go check out. Peace. <laughs>